From the Rose Bowl, I'm Michelle Phelan. It's also created lawsuits and allegations as well. What was your initial reaction to the news? Well, I was shocked by it. Both the British and the Americans are bracing themselves for an increase, but there is a concern about the cost of getting existing trucks into compliance. For USC defeated Cal 48 to 14. Hi, I'm Michelle Phelan with Dominique Bird for uscfootball.com. This building is City of Hope's first green certified facility. Some people may be surprised that it doesn't cost a lot to be eco-friendly. What started as one midwife's homemade cure is now gaining widespread popularity, but what you're about to see inside is anything but heavenly, including paying more taxes, providing more extracurricular activities for kids. Cosmetology students are now being taught the pros and cons of working from home. The LA Marathon brought a crowd past the finishers line as diverse as the neighborhoods they ran through. Matt, we're here at Pac-10 Media Day. Did you enjoy the experience? Absolutely. My first British prom! However, if lawmakers reject the idea, he'll be in prison for the next 20 months. Signing up from Palo Alto, I'm Michelle Phelan. Check out uscfootball.com for more. Cricket, uniforms, and a quiet exit from high school have long been the norms of a classic British education. But not tonight. America's prom is making its way into British culture. Cultural meaning American to English, and it's sort of seeping in, and it's nice. <laughs> To see if schools live up to our tradition this side of the Atlantic, I decided to go check out the scene. After spending hours curling and prepping for the night, most students arrived in stretch limos, posed for pictures, and were thrilled at the sight of classmates out of uniform. Oh, look how she looks lovely. Many students anticipated the night would be a Hollywood blockbuster. You we have watched loads of American films yeah. and then you like see them and you just want to do it yourself, so it's good in England that we get to do that. And one film gave the most inspiration. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Who's the lucky girl? British parents say they're also excited about their students' big night out. I just think it'd be nice if we could have a prom, actually. Are we too old yeah. for a yeah. prom? <laughs> the night mimics my own high school prom, including photos, entertainment, and dancing with rhythm lacking boys. My first British prom! Lots of food, a lot of dancing, a lot of guys in suits. They did a pretty good job. For a second, I thought it was in America. Looks like the prom is here to stay. Michelle Phelan, CBS News, London. Hi, I'm Michelle Phelan with Seattle Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll for uscfootball.com. Coach, you're back in L.A., you're at the Win Forever camp. Can you tell me a little bit about the concept behind the name? Yeah, well, Win Forever for us is kind of the guidelines for our whole overall approach about maximizing and doing the best you can with what you got. And, and uh, maximize your potential is, is something that we've always worked with. And, and uh, we know that if you want to win forever, you always compete. And so that's kind of how we talk. And, and uh, today was the, an opportunity to touch a bunch of people, players, uh, cheerleaders, uh, coaches, and parents, and let them know about you know, our approach and, and where we're coming from. And then also share a, just a first-class camp setting uh, by the help of um, Nike and Spark and, and all the other sponsors that jumped in today. This was really a first class day for kids from fifth grade all the way through high school uh, age kids. So it was a, we're very proud of the day and had a great time. The latest talk in Olympic swimming isn't focused on who will win a medal in Beijing, but rather what they'll be wearing. Especially if it's Speedo's new LZR racer suit. In the four months since its launch, the LZR racer has contributed to 38 world records. British swimmer Ross Davenport will compete in August wearing this new suit Speedo claims is the fastest in the world. Well, we heard a lot of, a lot of news um, going on about this suit, but as soon as you dive in that first time, it is, it is unbelievable. In the past, it would be probably about half a second slower per 50. Speedo claims the suit's silicon panels, designed by NASA, give 24% less drag than swimwear worn four years ago in Athens. The use of the LZR swimsuit has not only broken world records, it's also created lawsuits and allegations as well. Some say it gives swimmers an unfair advantage. It just holds you, holds you in together and you just feel like it's such an, uh, a second skin and you still feel so much faster and, and more uh, streamlined in the water. It's just it's unbelievable what the, the difference it can make. Although under current rules the LZR is legal, Tier Sport, Speedo's main competitor in the swimsuit market, is suing USA Swimming, saying their public support of Speedo's suit is unfair marketing. Meaning, some swimmers, like Peter Marshall, 
are unsure if their suit is up to speed. I don't want to have an unnecessary advantage over anybody, and I don't want anybody else to have an unnecessary advantage over me. But Speedo may have already won the race inside swimmers' heads. You're standing on the block in this suit that 30 world records in, in what, five months have been broken. You are going to feel better in yourself um, if you know the suit works. One thing's for sure, this suit won't be sinking before it gets to the starting gun in Beijing. Michelle Phelan, CBS News, Loughborough, England. City of Hope cut the ribbon on the new Michael Amini Transfusion Medical Center today. City of Hope is like a safe haven in the fight against cancer. The new building is considered to be one of the top three transfusion centers in the nation. It provides more beds, in-house storage, and a rapid underground delivery system. Besides new equipment and resources, this building is City of Hope's first green certified facility. It's made of recycled materials and powered by solar panels. The former transfusion building accommodated 40 people at a time, but this new one can hold up to 70. It will be far more comfortable <laughs> while you're donating because everything is new and, and it's roomier. The National Bone Marrow Donor Program also expects an increase in participants due to a nicer facility. You know, when you look at the state of art, state of the art facilities we have and uh, the ability for us to be more flexible, I think that it definitely will be more attractive to the community. Although the building is much more advanced than the one before, the message stays the same. Donate and help save somebody's life. And it doesn't cost you a dime. Sometimes the best things in life are free. Michelle Phelan, Annenberg, TV News. Firefighters are preparing for 40 mile an hour winds this weekend throughout Southern California, with fire stations taking additional precautions to make sure the fires don't start up again. We actually have additional water trucks that are staffed and uh, 20 actual uh, patrols, fire patrols, that will be out actively patrolling. Uh, they have uh, water tanks on them, hose, and they'll be able to access uh, those remote areas that fires may start, patrol areas looking for um, any embers or any signs of uh, suspicious activity uh, in these uh, extreme fire conditions that we're seeing here. While firefighters prepare for the next big wildfire, many people who lost everything with this last run of fires are just beginning to pick up the pieces. Canyon Country resident John Lewis was evacuated from his home on Camp Plenty Road two weeks ago. His house was not so welcoming when he walked through the front door days later. What was once furniture, bookcases, and a kitchen is now unrecognizable from the fire that roared through his home. We're planning to rebuild, but we have slightly different plans and slightly different things that we were looking at doing. Did you have anything that you could take with you before you left? Um, actually, my wife, uh, she did take the, her wedding album and uh, a few pictures and some important papers, but, and we took our dog with us. But uh, other than that, uh, that was pretty much it. Even worse are the memories lost and the sentimental keepsakes destroyed. While his family's life has been turned upside down, John looks ahead to the future. I mean, yeah. you can't be depressed all your life. I mean, you know, yeah, it was, it was a hard hit at first, but, you know, it's something that, that you can recover from and, you, you know, you recover stronger. Firefighters also hope homeowners take fire safety into their own hands and advise by clearing brush from around your home. Here's some other valuable advice. Firefighters have noticed that uh, a lot of homeowners have left, uh, whether it be uh, trash cans with the lids off or uh, combustibles that are next to the house, whether it be wood piles, um, maybe uh, some recreational vehicles um, that uh, as the fire passes and those embers get seated in those open containers or into those, uh, those void spaces, uh, it continues to smolder for several hours and now that the firefighters have left, the fire has passed through, now we see fires starting that are uh, next to uh, those homes. The damage is still being figured, but we do know the wildfires burned 356,000 acres in Southern California and destroyed over 1,300 homes. What can't be counted? Things like family keepsakes and the lives turned upside down. This is Michelle Phelan reporting.